Can 10 Idiot Australians Survive America by Martin Cita Pants. That is a nice car. Hello again. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> 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 A few months ago, my friends and I had a most devilish idea. <laughs> Go to the United States of America. Oh, you can't park there. Again. This idea was a good one, because it turns out America goes yeah. hard. Yes. So join us today as me and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of my idiot friends embark on this grand adventure. Five days in Los that Angeles. Pull over, asshole, and a drug Pull over, asshole. asshole. Two days in an alpine lake house. <laughs> Three days at the Grand Canyon and nine whole days in fabulous Las Vegas. Ah! So, let us begin. Not the <laughs> But before we begin, World of Tanks. That's right, mongrels. Oh. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Do you ever dream about becoming a tank? Do you want to die in a war? Do you find yourself daydreaming about the destruction of France? And do you... Uh, <laughs> tanks! World of Tanks! The greatest, most least expensive free tank game ever created. You can drive this, or this, or even this. It's incredible. But uh, what can be better than the beautiful gift of life? Shut the fuck up! Shut your brain up! Giant weapons, guns, hot steamy loads. I can assure you 75 millimeters is well above average. Download World of Tanks right now with the link in the description and use my special super secret, uber secret, ultra mega secret invite code COMBAT to claim a bunch of free stuff. New players get 250,000 credits, seven days of premium access, three rental tanks for 10 battles each. By going through on T78 and Type 64 and the Cromwell. <laughs> Sit up straighter. Stop slouching, you lazy fuck. Existing players get three days premium. This funky camouflage and a seven day rental of this sick as fuck tank. Already have this sick as fuck tank? How about a little walking around money, huh? 100,000 credits of a walking around money. You know what I'm saying? Click the link in park. I mean, link in the description and use code COMBAT and transform your stale, decrepit life. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. Anyway. What a hard intro, actually. Because he came at us hard and fast. Yes, if some of the... Uh, some of the firearm bits did make me a little antsy, but that's because I'm the most inattentive person people know when it comes to firearms. We're going to put it that way. But uh, what a hard intro for like the first, what was it, 30, 45 seconds? And then into that, that hard ad read. I absolutely love this. I'm digging this. Day one. Before we could do anything silly, we'd have to actually get to America. We had a few options. Swim, dinghy, stow away on a cargo ship, flap our arms really, really hard, or buy airline tickets and fly there. Lame. We chose airline tickets because flapping our arms is very tiring. <laughs> so, we all loaded up on a few different planes and began the very long, arduous journey to LAX. <laughs> all ten of us. Martin, that's me, Tristan, Sydney, Kai, Arlo, Tim, Seamus, Simon, Harrison, and Nathan. Well, that's the whole cast. Let's get to LA. On yeah. the flight over, Sydney went Unibomber mode and spent literally the entire <laughs> flight playing blackjack. <laughs> Tristan found a watch in the airport worth nearly $100,000. Nice. And the face. Kai face. and Seamus got some early morning wakey wakey beers. <laughs> Nathan sent this rather silly text to the group chat. Tell him you saw Seamus put a ball in his bag. <laughs> At the exact moment, Seamus gave his phone to airport staff. <laughs> resulting in Chambers getting grilled by security for about 20 minutes, and I got a great view of all the places we would be going on this trip. That kind of reminds me, there was a meme, there was a song that uh, released somewhat recently uh, in relation to this video, and uh, one of the main me one of the main uh, stuff from this song was Allo Akbar, uh, it was a, it was an inflection on it, and <laughs> so people started making really bad like airport memes, just like when you're walking up to, <laughs> to TSA, <laughs> That one friend. <laughs> it really is tragic. It, it it really is. It says something about <laughs> it says something about society that we can laugh at this. The desert, the lake, the mountains, and sunny Los Angeles. So the first group arrived and went to collect the rental car. On foot, with their bags, on a walk that looks like this. Yeah for an hour. Yeah. When there's a free shuttle. Yeah. Well done, gents. Once they did get the car, they took it back to the Airbnb, unloaded their stuff, and came back to the airport to get me. Situation Please update. Like the traffic got worse. So far. Oh no. Oh no, they don't know about LA traffic. Oh no. I have a... Uh... 
family that still lives in California. I used to live in California. Not I never to like driving age, but oh my god. They don't know about LA traffic. Oh no. San Bernardino as a <laughs> as my family would call it. I'm a little more familiar with. Oh god, that traffic though is rough. Oh, all was going to plan. But this was when I received a harrowing message. This is I'm literally going to have someone in chat just be like, "Kip, what, how do you know about San Bernardino as a meme? And I'm just going to be like, don't worry about it. It's fine. I have family that live in that area. And then the other half are going to be like, what do you mean by San Bernardino? <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Mart, we wrote off the rental. Four hours in, <laughs> and it was already so fucking over. We lost Seamus. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> what happened to Seamus? <laughs> Sydney has no reception, but he is so fun King Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he is so fun King Sorry. So, um, what actually happened to Seamus? Well, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yep. That's right. I got pranked. <laughs> Nice. With that complete fucking catastrophe averted, we yeah. continued back to the house. But on the way, I received a text from my agent. Hello, Mart. Would you like to come to a cool party? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just landing with all my friends. My God. There's free drinks. Well, well, now that you're pulling his leg, I mean, I mean, you really force him into a tight spot, right? <laughs> How can he say no? It'd be rude to say no to, to, to this kind of invitation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One quick detour to the party's entrance later, which was in Skid Row. Yes, that Skid Row. Rough. The graffiti looks cool, though. And I had arrived. This party touted some featured guests, like this random guy, and this random guy, nice. and Sapnap. Oh, and, and, oh, and uh, the Kid Leroy was also performing. So that was cool. Am I a boomer? I have no... like. I, Redundant question. I have no idea who any of these people are. Anyway, I loaded myself up on free drinks, took a few hot images, listened to the child Larry go, and that was that. Back to the house. Here they are, boys. <laughs> Fucking alien. Okay, but that actually is kind of clever that he hummed it because that gets around potential copyright issues in YouTube. That was actually brilliant and thematic. Okay. okay. Back at the house, I realized we had picked well. Lots of beds, lots of space, and a chill as fuck balcony. <laughs> Dude, chill. So, it was about 10 p.m. We could go to bed, or we could take those scooters right there to a nightclub. Don't do it. Well, that was pretty good. Let's go to bed. Day two. We woke up, jumped on the balcony, and had a chill. Yeah. It was still some people who hadn't yet arrived. So once we were done stuffing our face with breakfast, Quiet guy noodle. we set off back to LAX. This is where we also got our second rental car. Another identical Toyota Sienna. Oh no. One of these bad boys, legally speaking, holds seven people. Okay. But we have ten. So we were like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's get two. Uh -huh. Two cars are always better than one. Hey, get off the fucking road, asshole! Lunch. I wouldn't do that in LA, no sir. <laughs> you couldn't couldn't make me do that. <laughs> see, see the thing that I have is I have family members that have been in medicine in California. Namely San Bernardino and LA areas. Nope. No, sir. <laughs> Denny's. I had a lot of good things to say about Denny's last year, but this year we branched out a bit and tried some of the more different items on the menu. Oh, no. This was a terrible mistake. Kai ordered a deep fried steak. Country Arlo fried got steak, this sandwich with about 18,000 layers of ham in it, and the table just generally looked unsettlingly orange. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> See you. Now. His feet are pixelated. It's actually kind of great. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> no, no, there's a reason that I don't go to Denny's. There is one Denny's in Idaho that I will still go to, but it also is like a Denny's lounge for like truckers. 
and I've gone over this before, so I'll like spare the kind of recount of it. There, Denny's is a place that I generally don't go unless it's like there if that makes sense like i went up to rigby for an sca event and we went to denny's as we were leaving and god sometimes you just need denny's but like i'm super picky on denny's if that makes sense it's kind of like denny's is like bottom ihop is like yeah it's like sherry's is like mid ihop's maybe a step up from that depending on the establishment depending on the location like th there's kind of a tier list to this <laughs> last night was pretty fun but that little montage we did might have oversold things a bit. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> Tonight, however, was Friday night. And Friday nights in LA tend to go pretty hard. Yeah. But before going out, we'd need a solid, powerful, invigorating hype rotation. And for said hype rotation, we'd need supplies. <laughs> so we bought the essentials. Some 40 ounce bottles of beer, which are huge. My God. Four loco, which is also huge. And rhinoceros boner pills. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, we didn't buy those. Anyway, no. it was time to hype the fuck up. Blackjack, but drinking. Whenever someone won, they'd pour a bit of drink in this cup. That's fucking, That's fucking brown, man. And if someone hit blackjack, they'd have to drink it. <laughs> but what about the dealer, you might say? Well, we thought about that too. No. If two people hit blackjack, the dealer drinks. Done. It's a fucking big. Oh, yeah. That's it's never happening. They drink. That's, that's never happening. Sometimes. That's one in two hundred and fifty-two odds. One in two hundred and fifty-two million is going to be here. Can you guess what happened next? Ready for the double blackjack? Ready for such a drink? To the top, to the top. Oh, that's it, yeah, that's yeah, another one. Yeah, yeah. Put on the cards and my jacket, my no, brother. On the, on the velour? Is this velvet? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Cheers, boys. <laughs> Fuck out. I'm I am notoriously a lightweight. That makes me sick just looking at. Like, you don't understand. I have a single Mike's hard. Not, not harder. Mike's hard. I am done. I am out. <laughs> My face is beat red, which we've we have theorized that I might actually have an aller like an allergy to some forms of alcohol. That that was painful for me to watch. I could not do that. I'm happy as long as you carry me home later. Oh, it's it's over. Over. It's it's over. Over. Fuck it's off. Meanwhile, Kai had been steadily polishing off this drink. But what was this drink? Oh no. Well, take one forty ounce of beer, drink half of it, and fill it back to the top with four loco. <laughs> Gentlemen, behold the sidewalk slammer. And by Actually, that's a really clever use of the, that pasta spoon. Oh my god, that makes so much sense now. Now, Kai had finished it. And with that, don't feel shit. Let's go to the club. Day three, we woke up. That's a, that's a lot of a guttural experience. Yeah. Who the fuck's this? <laughs> uh, who the fuck is that? Well, dear viewer, that's Smelvin, our silly friend we met last night. Oh, so, no. uh, what actually happened last night then? Well, shortly after arriving, we met Smelvin, got a few drinks in us, Ow. and then poor Kai started absolutely fighting for his life against the sidewalk slammer. Yeah. He lost. Yeah. He and then got sent home. He's, he's done. <laughs> he moved on to the next place where Sydney witnessed several domestic incidents yeah, exactly. at once. I witnessed- Most nightclubs are not like that, but that is a genuine concern to have at places like that. That's also why it's potentially dangerous to take people home because there are some less than savory individuals that uh, will, will use the the high from the party. Not like like the you know, being like, oh, hey, lights, laser shows, etc. That feeling of just elation, right? Not necessarily the other definition of that. And uh, they'll, they'll use it to, to kind of get in people's good graces, get comfortable. And then uh, suddenly... <laughs>
<laughs> suddenly you're uh you're out in the countryside 15 miles from where you thought you were going and uh his the, the person's home is apparently just a, a abandoned farmhouse that smells incredibly sterile <laughs> It's 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 worth noting that not everyone is crappy, but there are enough people that are crappy in this world that you just got to take precautions. You just got to be careful with some people, especially in public settings. Smelvin perform an absolute blunder with a woman, and Tristan, well, he can take it from here. Look at her. Oh no. Honk honk. Mm, honk honk. Anyway, that's all in the past now. What was on the agenda for today? We'd been enjoying our city boy nightclub bussin' for real, for real. One no, actually, yeah, actually having cards would be a good marketing strategy for that. Now that I think about it, it's free marketing because what happens? You throw away the card, worst case scenario, you just drop it. Someone say drops it just because they don't want to deal with it. Someone else gets to pick up a card with all that information and that teaser. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Huh. <laughs> I think about these things way too much. 100 emoji, never seen a cow in my entire life sort of dude lifestyle. But what about America's more yee ass redneck sort of activity? Oh, no. That's right, we would be partaking in the cultural institution of NASCAR. Hell yeah, brother, I love NASCAR! <laughs> but that wouldn't be until the evening, so in the meantime. Oh, watch, out, watch out for the poo. Nice. Where? Fucking stop. There is it. <laughs> Breakfast. Pizza. Then picking up Nathan from the airport, who was the last to arrive, and going to Walmart. Walmart. Oh, At Walmart, we gathered very important supplies, like beer, oh, and a yes. bit more beer. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So much beer. Oh, yeah. And, oh, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Fucking. White Castle sliders. White Castle sliders. I think I might kill myself. <laughs> with our fridge stocked up with all the supplies a group of 10 men could ever need, it was NASCAR time. So I saw that orange juice. That's a mixer, isn't it? <laughs> back in the cars, onto the highway, and into the Irwindale Speedway's enormous parking lot. A parking lot full of giant... Irwindale? God, it's been a minute. ...pickup trucks. And a large number of Americans who, um... You know, like, <laughs> inside the complex itself, they played the national anthem, and everyone, literally everyone, stopped what they were doing, put their hands on their hearts, and listened. Which we thought was pretty odd. And before we knew it... You have to understand, because I know there's going to be people, especially in the US, like, what do you mean that's odd? We are one of the only countries that does that. I think there's been, uh, I think it was, what was it? I think in Europe, there was a comment that came from somebody from Europe, and they're like, like, literally, like, North Korea does that too. It, it, to the rest of the world, it comes across as incredibly strange. Actually, um, and feel free to definitely corroborate me on this, uh, international viewers, because I know there's a lot of you out there. Love you all, by the way. Uh, you don't really go out and people aren't, like, flying, like... For example, people aren't flying, like, the British flag, right? People aren't flying... I don't think they uh, fly, like, the Australian flag, right? Like, I just outside of their houses. We're in the U.S. I can attest Idaho specifically... There's at least five houses around here that have the U.S. flag flying, and three of them have the Confederate flag flying. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it was time to watch some cars drive in circles, and oh boy, did they do just that. I'm tucking out from all these races. I could really do with some... Wait, what? Do you hear that? Oh my god, it's the... It's the Gummy Bear song! And they're giving out Gummy Bears! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, NASCAR time was over, but this event wasn't just NASCAR. It was also a demolition derby. Oh no. And fellas, it was derby time. The VLC media player car one. <laughs> anyway, I guess we should go home. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that 
That's a fucking rhinoceros. Okay, surely that's the end of the event. Nope. Okay, that's enough. Let's go home. You know what I noticed is that like most Americans are fucking obese. Yes. Well, that was fun. A tier. A lot of that actually has to do with our quality of food. I had a buddy that went over to Japan and just eating food in Japan. He lost like, what was it? I think it was like 20 pounds or something like that. There's, there's a vast sentiment on just once you're outside of the U.S., food is just different. And I don't know. I don't necessarily know. I can't really speak on, you know, the reasons why in a full capacity because I do not have all of the required information. What I have heard, at least in mass, and I do encourage you to do your research on it, is that there are different regulations in regards to what can be served here and what is uh, what is fit to be served here versus other places in the world. That's why in Japan, a McDonald's burger will taste entirely different than a burger will in the U.S. because just there's certain regulations and restrictions that are tighter in certain places and looser in other places. So, what next? Well, we could go home, cook up dinner, have an early night, and be refreshed and ready to take on tomorrow. But why? Or... Party. Nightclub. Yeah. Sydney was gracious enough to be our designated sober driver. But only Sydney. So we only had one car. Yeah. Gentlemen, I present to you... Clown car. The clown car. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> This won't go in a video, will it? I mean, maybe. Are we back in the wall? No. Uh, hold on a minute, guys. Guys, what's, what, what's going on? Guys, guys, where are you? Guys, guys, I think we went to the wrong place. Guys, guys, there is a very suspicious woman here. Please, guys, guys. Well, no vacancy on this CMT and it's my job to show you. Oh. Well, uh, all right. What? The recurring theme of the scooters, I love it. Oh my god. Day four began, and we woke up. The fact that they are four days in, and they have partied literally more than I have in my entire lifetime. I've been to like, two smaller concerts. Never, also, it's, you have to also say, it's also Idaho. We don't really have raves like this, or nightclubs like that. I hear allegedly... There were some potentially abandoned facilities that they possibly happened at, but I was never in the know enough to really confirm one way or the other. And it was never really, you know, I never really had the ability to do that. So that is a little outside of my purview to say, but uh, the, the, the closest to this I would ever really go to is a, a live show of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That, that is some next level stuff. This was a rather unpleasant experience. Our yeah. breakfast today was a classic American cereal, Lucky Charms, and Seamus had come up with a brilliant combination to cure his hangover. Sometimes artistic oh, no. expression requires genius. Okay. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> you can't be on a hangover if you don't, if you don't ever stop being drunk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh God, mate. beautiful. Get in there. Get in there, mate. Get a big heaping spoon for this. Awful. Don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the rest of the guys had some bacon and eggs, and we made sure to tip all of the bacon grease down the sink for the sink gnomes to eat. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Speaking of sink gnomes, does anyone remember in this video where I mentioned the six-way, all stop sign intersection in Beverly Hills? No. Yeah. 
I did. Why not? Well, there's an intersection <laughs> in Beverly Hills that is six ways and all stop signs, yep. which we thought was such a curious piece of traffic engineering oh, no. that we collectively decided, fuck it, Beverly Hills is pretty close, let's check it out. Yeah. So, we loaded up in the cars and drove to Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. The drive there was quite an interesting experience. You see, Hollywood is quite dire. Lots yeah, of yeah. homelessness, lots of grime, lots of crackheads, and lots of funky smells. So, and that's 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 actually a huge perception that like Hollywood. Oh, it's Hollywood. Got to go to Hollywood where the stars are at. No, like having family that went to clubs and did things in Hollywood, like just like like visited, obviously, right? Not that anyone in my family is like an actor or anything like that. Hollywood, sure, can have the the side of it that's fun that's romanticized that's ooh, this is so cool but also hollywood is a really rough place to be in like at, at minimum you're looking at a lot of rampant substance abuse and uh there were, uh, i don't know which concert it was at i had a family member discuss that one time in hollywood they uh started to uh they, they were letting more people in than their max occupancy allowed and they started closing doors and stuff and uh, we, we know why that's a bad thing from popular internet videos in regards to clubs not having uh, clearly marked exits and ways to get out, especially when pyrotechnics are involved. Hollywood is... There are so many better things you could do with your time than go to Hollywood, if I'm being completely honest. Like, I, I can't imagine it's gotten any better from when my family was there last in probably the 80s or 90s. God. But just a few miles down the road, things had changed drastically. The dirt and grime was gone. The homelessness was gone. The hedges were getting taller. The roads were quieter and wider. The cars were nicer. The roads were lined with flowers. And the houses were absolutely huge. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Gentlemen, we had arrived in the quiet streets of Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Three, two, one, <laughs> go. How are they so much faster than us? Because I'm in the back seat. Tristan's nice. in the back last. Beverly Hills was like a completely different city. Yeah. A completely different city with very questionable traffic management. Yeah. Case in point, the intersection. Of course, we parked up and examined it more closely on foot. Wow. This place is just weird. So as you can see, we are in a business meeting right now. Yes. Yeah. 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 Pretty Dave over here as well. Huh? Oh. Nearby was also <laughs> this nice park, so we checked that out too. My horny ass could not tend a koi garden. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, Someone throw a rock at it. I've never He's seen that animal that. before. Oh, All right. Well, I'd say we'd seen a good amount of the rich area. Now, back to the crackheads. Why well, yeah. you bad, man? Gentlemen, we were going to Santa Monica Pier. Oh no! Once again, like. Oh no. <laughs> Why do I have an odd amount of knowledge about this? <laughs> Last year, it was full of curious characters. Preachers. Put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Street performers that took so long to do their performance that we got bored and left. around and collect your money! Plenty of those aforementioned crackheads and this cat backpack thing. Hell yeah! Okay, that's pretty cool. At the end of the pier, we sat down and watched the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Jill. Bird. You're a pretty bird. So, we went back to the cars, and I completely forgot to visit the wall shit spot again. Nice. Damn. <laughs> Speaking of wall shits... I'm hungry. What? How do these relate? Taco Bell. <laughs> Once again, it turns out that Taco Bell is actually pretty good. Well, dude, I keep saying it, I'll say it a thousand times more. Sometimes you just need T-Bell. Sometimes you need, you really just crave it. 3 a.m., you need that T-Bell. And then you remember why you don't get T-Bell. And then three, month, three six months down the line, you need that T-Bell. You just, you need T-Bell. <laughs> How's that taste? It's actually so good. <laughs> I like Taco Bell. Hey. S tier. Ah! Nice. Okay. Well, let's go to bed. I do like that this is an interactive tier list, effectively. This is great. This Day is amazing. Five. We woke up feeling fine. <laughs> kind of crazy that not getting shit faced results in better sleep. Today was our last day in LA, and we'd noticed something 
disturbing. Mm. All of our phones had a severe lack yeah. of hard photos. To remedy this, I have scouted a location and come up with a plan. The Hollywood sign. But before that, we need to fuel ourselves with some breakfast at Burger King. Yeah! This particular Burger King had a crackhead outside, which is always a good sign. Yeah. And the food was actually pretty good. Uh, oh, Burger Jr. Jr. is pretty good. Now I'm wanting Burger King, actually. There was a period of time when I worked near Burger King, and I got like a triple Whopper with cheese like every couple nights. God, it was amazing. <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> Whopper! Whopper! With our bodies fueled up and back in the cars, on we drove to the Hollywood sign and past this Scientologist center. My favorite YouTuber, Martin Cito Pants, he's a fucking scientist. He's a fucking scientist. He acts Dianetic as fuck. <laughs> oh. He has type 3 Dianetic. <laughs> and before we knew it, the hard photo. Nice. Nice. I was waiting I'd give for the Hollywood cat. sign a B tier. Nice. But you know what? I think we need more hard photos. And where else to get more hard photos than a museum full of cars? Yeah, like actually. this one. And this one. And, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cars. Yeah. My personal favorites were this car for Soviet leaders, this particular steel ball that did nothing significant whatsoever, and this what? thing. Yeah, that's a car. I'm well, that's a good amount one. of hard photos. Food time. Carl what Jr. Are, Carl yeah, Jr. was yeah. pretty generic. I mean, I feel my we are currently at a price. But also pretty good. So Carl Jr. is like, it's like mid. It's like like high mid, if that makes sense. Like it's in mid tier, but it's the higher end of mid tier. Sometimes a good Carl Jr. trip is all that it takes. Also, my model is 100% covering it, but uh, it's getting larger. We decided on B tier. Carl Jr. I, I okay. can see that. You know what? I think we might just need more hard photos. See, these just weren't doing it for us. They lacked a certain amount of drip. Jazz. A certain <laughs> amount of drip we could acquire from these vintage stores. Tristan found this. And I found this Daytona jacket. Nice find, actually. Nice. With our drip firmly secured, we left the store and began heading back to the cars. That was until we spotted a familiar face across the road. Yay! What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> no, why are you guys here? <laughs> and this time, he was with a woman. My let's God. fucking go, Smelvin! Yeah! Then we went to the Griffith Observatory. Well, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? Well, where do we at the, at the well, Griffith Observatory? <laughs> no, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> Griffith Observatory, B, eh. C tier. Literally. Back home, it was time for dinner. And so the local Italian, Simon, got to work. With an army hearties. Army hearties. Army Arguing with Tim with about how to cook the pasta. A situation. They the sauce, but there is no place to cook the pasta. Tell me in, man. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then the sauce in the pot, and then the boiling water in the pot after. Okay, hypothetically, if we're running into a space issue, do you have a kettle? Because just boil the water in the kettle. I, I mean, hypothetically. Like, okay, there, there are ways that you could jank this, actually. There are absolutely ways, depending on what you needed, that you could absolutely jank this. And now I'm solidifying that my mod should never travel with me anywhere because they're going to run into stuff like this and it's just going to give them like a literal brain aneurysm. <laughs> Much like why I'm not only banned from the kitchen at this point, but also banned from shopping. Oh, what up? Yeah. That's not a big deal, bro. That's, big that's okay. That's we can boil water. <laughs> yeah, why don't you freeze it as well so we can use boiling water later? Oh my god. <laughs> we need a what? No, stop, stop. You're just fucking pour it down the sink. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> just pour it down the sink. <laughs> Tim, just pour it down the sink! <laughs> Look, dinner was yum. We got there in the end. It was a bit of a struggle, but it was yum. Yeah, it's all that matters. Now, we needed more supplies. Supplies that we would be able to get from this very normal, totally ordinary corner store mm -hmm. that sold tasers. Nice. Naturally, Not. we tased Sydney. Oh, I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna fucking eat it. I'm gonna fucking eat it. <laughs> what the fuck? Sadly, only one of the barbs made a proper connection. So to actually get tased, he had to touch the other barb on the floor. Well, yeah, because wouldn't it complete the circuit? I'm assuming there's probably a positive or negative end, right? 
Like how your battery has a positive end and a negative end, right? That's how you use jump cables. At least I think that's how that works. Yeah, complete the circuit. <laughs> this just wouldn't do. So we stepped it up a notch. Stop a time. Yo, wait, they just sell these at convenience stores? Need to get me like three of those. That sounds Probably higher voltage too. <laughs> <laughs> This is around the time when we noticed a newcomer entering the building. A tall, intense looking dude with a big scar on his cheek. Nice. We told him we just tased Sydney and he went, hmm. Mm. He then began talking with the shopkeeper. He bought himself a police scanner, got a little tutorial on how to use it from the shopkeeper. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. There it is. There it is. San Bernardino. Actually, really, if you've never seen these tech mats, actually, I use some when I go shooting because they're, they're think like a gaming play mat, if you will. But obviously they have like designs. Like I have an AR-15 one. There's a 1911 one out there. And they're just really cool weighted play mat things that you just put on the shooting bench. And it's just like, grats. Now it doesn't have to touch the like actual hard surface because it's like it's like a little soft. I actually really like these tech mats. If you haven't, definitely go look at them. I, I think they're great personally. San Bernardino, baby! And left. Uh, Don't worry about it. Right. You don't need to know. Overall, that shop... S. S tier. Yeah! Ah! But you know what <laughs> isn't S tier? White Castle? Oh. The White Castle sliders... How dare you? ...sitting in the freezer. This was our last night, after all, and they probably wouldn't survive three plus hours of drive. I've also never had... Never had White Castle. Oh my god, he has to cover in and out right? He has to cover this. I went to SCA, and we were discussing in and out because the one's open in Idaho now. And they're just like... Like... Yeah, I I understand why it's it's an okay burger, like it, it shouldn't be as popular as it is, and so and so thus they started discussing that In and Out was a cult. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is it's one of the only places that is actually open as up as late as I'm up. I'm gonna get it. It's also decently priced. I can get fries and a burger for cheaper than a Big Mac by itself, pretty much. Having in the hot car tomorrow. So, reluctantly, oh, we opened no. them up, oh, no. defrosted them, stacked them like bricks to create the true White Castle. Oh, you're the king of the White Castle, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and eight. These were, no exaggeration, Mid. the worst pieces of frozen food I have ever had the displeasure of consuming. That is not good. And Seamus thought so too. This really made me think, man, Americans have it rough when it comes to food. Yeah, actually. No wonder they have a reputation for looking like... Yes. This. F tier. I can't Again. Hear that. Anyway, tomorrow we'd be traveling to the lake house, so we got in bed and slept. What? <laughs> Day six, traveling to the Alpine Lake House in Big Bear Lake. We've been having such a good time. Whoa. Whoa. I know exactly where that's at. Okay. That was trying not to dox myself. <laughs> Let's put it this way. I know of a little town called Crestline. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> And, like, maybe two of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm in L.A., but leaving it set a cloud of melancholy over us. We bid farewell to the L.A. house and set off... Big Bear! For the really? Mountains. Like, Big Bear? Last I'm having words. to think about that. Last words. I've been there. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I reckon squirrel would taste so good that you'd have to eat like 10 at a time. Once we'd made Probably our way out of LA, actually. the scenery got substantially prettier. Lads, this is beautiful. God, but you know I miss the mountains so much, actually. I actually forgot that these are what they looked like. Oh my God. This place here needs desperately 
A Walmart. Yeah. Of course. Oh, wow, well, look at that. In Is Walmart, that a we bought more food and supplies for our 10 hungry tum tums, like goobers. Look, gooba. They got you in a job, bro. I fucking love gooba. I'm a gooba. And, uh. <laughs> Back on the road, we had begun ascending into the mountains, and the scenery was. Oh my god, I think I've driven on this exact road. What a weird wave of, like, nostalgia that I know exactly where this is. And I probably drove on this exact highway up. Oh, oh my god. Like. Wow. That's wild. I would love to do stuff like this, actually. I'd love to travel for, like, work. It's getting pleasant of and pleasant of. Up here, we could look down into the valley and see the vast sprawl that is LA. Well, we would have been able to see LA if it wasn't for the pungent, thick, juicy layer of smog, smog covering baby. all of it. Yeah. Wonderful. I, 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 I can attest that's been around for a hot minute. That's probably been around since before I was born. I remember going up to uh, one of the elementary school because we had to drive a little ways there. And I always remember seeing that smog. Oh my God, that's been around forever. The LA smog and F tier. Yeah. And yeah. what do you know? Big Bear Lake. All right, I think we're standing now. Let's go to Vegas. All right. What were we actually doing here? Well, I wanted to go to a lake house since it seems chill, but yeah. why specifically Big Bear Lake? Why? Well, during the planning phase of this trip, I heavily relied on Google Maps. Yeah. I'd scour the map, look around, use the 3D view, use Street View, and generally look at my computer and go, hmm. Looks cool. While looking over Big Bear Lake, I spotted an intriguing town nearby. Not Big Bear, but a far smaller one to its north. <laughs> I thought to myself, eh. Show the boys, and they went, eh. yeah. and the rest is history. Right, so Never been there. Here. Tomodachi life, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big well, Bear was a great this was nice. place. I liked it. Okay, I'm bored. Pelagon time. <laughs> I give pellet gun time an S tier. Nice. Well, that was fun. Time for lunch. Jack in the box. Mmm. God, that Just looks kind so of good. Yeah. So, B, C tier. Damn. Okay. Back to the cabin. Jack in the box below Carl's Jr. What a hot take. But one that I actually kind of agree with now that I look at it. Interesting. All right, in here we got the games room. Oh, nice. Hey, how we doing, boys? Nice. <laughs> Martin's just chilling. <laughs> okay, I'm bored again. It's boat time. You said the funny B word. <laughs> boat time consisted of driving the boat, seeing the Big Bear Lake Solar Observatory, which takes photos like this, seeing these helicopters for some reason, yeah. and doing boat burnouts. I don't know, there's been a lot of helicopters and stuff I've noticed. Like, I mean, obviously, living in Idaho, especially southern Idaho, you have Mountain Home Air Force Base, not super far away. Plus, I mean, you know, big, giant airport in regards to you know being boise airport right but like it feels like there's been a lot of increased traffic over the past couple of months i don't know what it is specifically but i'll just like just like n i'm noticing it more and more there's a lot i give boat time s a tier damn it was good yeah. okay for real this time let's go back to the cabin and the boys want to check out the town nice One, nine, 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 nine. Okay, well, we still had two cars, so Tristan, Nathan, and I hopped in one of them and took it back home. While the boys were enjoying themselves looking at various funky stores like the Boneyard, nice. we were at home freaking the fuck out because of a smell. Yes. <laughs> we scrambled to do what we could. We opened all the windows, checked everywhere for the source of the leak. Oh, we no. frantically tried to get a draft going, but to no avail. Boys, there was a gas leak in the house. Fuck me dead. <laughs> Shit is so fun. 
guys. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> huh? House blow up. <laughs> the prank. House blow up. <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. Very house easy photo. <laughs> well, the gas leak did happen, but the house didn't blow up. We just opened all the windows, turned the stove off, and it was fine. Yeah. yeah. And with that devilish prank completed, burgers. Yeah. yeah. Burgers. And bed. Burger. Burger. Day seven. Nothing. Literally fuck all. We sat around the cabin, we drank beer, <laughs> funny you grab your dick, hang a load in your balls, or your balls hang a load in your dick, and went to bed. <laughs> Day eight. Our time at Big Bear Lake had come to an end, and today we'd be plunging deeper into the American West on the way to the Grand Canyon. Keen to hit the road, we packed everything back into the cars, did a final check of the house, and breakfast. El pollo loco. The crazy chicken. To me, the crazy chicken is just the normal chicken. <laughs> Inside this fine establishment, we ordered our food. Olo got a wonderful new name. La. 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 <laughs> Shockingly, it was very good. We also checked their stock price for some not reason. Nice. It's pretty crazy. Let me tell you, it's good. And so, I mean, that's not abnormal. I don't. At least the people that I hang out with. I mean, we'll absolutely do stuff like that. Like, what's the current stock price of like Wendy's after the uh, dynamic price shift announcement and later redaction, right? Or how they redacted it. I mean, that's just normal for people that I hang out with. That's. I don't know. I I see how people would see that odd. And there's definitely a conversation to get from point A to point B, but it's not out of the question. This is gonna be A. Colin. We bestowed it. upon it our greatest honor. S tier. Damn. The road to the Grand Canyon was long, <laughs> especially because we wanted to go through Joshua Tree National Park and have a gander at the Joshua Trees. In total, we had over six hours on the road ahead of us, so we swallowed the burritos whole and piled back into the Siennas. Joshua Tree National Park goes hard. Oceans of small shrubs with these huge, rocky mountains jutting out, and of course, Joshua Trees. Naturally, we had to check it out, and also piss. Group pissing session starts now. <laughs> that was a pissing. <laughs> Fucking piss central here, bro. Teamwork makes the dream work. On this desert road, we learned many things. Like, the car's top speed on Google is wrong. The nice. US military just be doing stuff in the desert with VTOL aircraft. For Okay, but that's not actually abnormal because I don't I don't know how national parks specifically fall into this, but I mean that's absolutely like true. Buddy is a Cav Scout, and when uh, he was doing Cav Scout things, uh, he was deployed down. To, I think it was Nevada or something. Well, I say deployed, but he's doing exercises down in Nevada, right? And all right, I hear it's Nevada, Kip. We need Nevada. <laughs> And uh, he was doing some stuff down there, some stuff and things. And uh, you, he, they were also training artillery crews down there. And they wouldn't actually fire live rounds, but they would do the math and be like, oh, hey, we're firing here. And then Buddy would get notified that their own artillery unit just ganked them. <laughs> I think they do actually use national parks for stuff like this, though. It gets a big area. It's got government funding and certain protections on it, right? I mean, it would make sense. It's just a big F off area. For some reason. Fuck, oh, that's so cool. It does, it's pretty cool. And, um... That's a bug right there. Ooh. Where? Right there. Just move it with a stick, you fucking moron. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Before long, the desert road had given way to the Colorado River. And over the other side of it, Arizona. My god. Way. 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 Just in time for lunch at Wendy's. Not Wendy's. Bloody bridge in Arizona. <laughs> Bloody baffled I am. Oh. I'm sorry, what was that price? Five thirty nine for diesel. I can't. Four twenty five for unleaded. Oh my god, that is highway robbery. London Bridge in Arizona. <laughs> bloody baffled I am. You're what? I'm bloody losing my marble. <laughs> Wait, he's, he's mine. Now, to be blunt, Wendy's was uh mid. Uh, it was bad. The food was dry. Ooh. The chips were bad. The nuggets were bad. And they misspelled almost everyone's name. My God. Halo, bon. Shamus, Shamus, Tristan, and uh, bon bon. Bon. <laughs> Okay, this is actually the opposite experience I have with Wendy's because I had the uh, the T-Rex burger. There's a, there's a short I have up actually of this thing. It's like a nine patty burger from Wendy's. Not every Wendy's offers it and you would have to go in to check if they will sell it to you because doing it through Uber is just 
kind of mean kind of they are doing you a favor making you this burger oh my god was this thing a moist greasy just absolute unit to try and devour i had to listen to sabaton to get through that okay this thing was an ordeal who the fuck is <laughs> <Bob Dazier? laughs> fucking just bad 150 miles of chill as fuck road later we'd reached our next destination walmart <laughs> There's a consistent theme here. Inside, Simon found some curious products. Nice. It's called the Free Piece Tactical Kit. <laughs> Torch, pliers, and a fucking knife. What, 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 do, you, what do you need this for? Don't it's like you're, it. you're like in the bar trying to fix something on your car and there's yeah. a fucking bear attacking you. <laughs> While one of the cars was at Walmart making important purchases for our hungry tum-tums, the car I was driving made its way to Big Five Big Sporting five. Goods. We were here to have a look at their wares, yeah. and their wares did not disappoint. Wait a second, this is, this is just Walmart. Yeah, I'm like, that looks like Walmart. The price tags alone, the ceiling, that looks like Walmart. That being said, because they're not, as far as I'm aware, they're not US citizens, and they don't have any like proof badge or anything like that, because they're international visitors, they can't purchase any of this from my understanding. But yeah, they just this, this, this is normal. They did, however, uh, and this was back in, what was it, 20... 21 something like that uh walmart did discontinue uh sidearm sales like handguns and stuff they did discontinue those sales and uh okay back to the road and nighttime night driving is chill finally we had reached the dirt track she's a bit bumpy and before we knew it we had arrived at the grand canyon shack first things first let's examine our wares you know <laughs> the usual bits of food like some mints and a bit of spaghetti and uh three right, bb guns go. What a Sig MCX, spaghetti? a lever action thing, and a Glock. <laughs> I gotta say, BB guns make for exceptional props. Honestly, I hear BB guns have gotten like super good in terms of the way they look. I mean, I think that I was under the impression you had to have some sort of orange, either tape, some sort of marking to uh, differentiate it from it being a real firearm. I don't know what excuse me the legality on that is per se anymore but or, or it could just be a, a guideline to follow like hey just to make sure that you know people don't think it's just the real thing you're supposed to do that but i also lead into another thing i i am not really educated in that aspect i will put it that way but no they've, they've been getting very good in regards to uh how photorealistic they can look and uh kind of with that immersion especially when you're doing things like airsoft and bb guns like you know in pvp so to speak i would love to try and do some of this actually i feel they'd be super cool and super cost effective too you can buy like what bulk bbs for like super cheap probably guns too my trigger discipline is going through the roof right now America. Then dinner and oh no, the person logged into this TV isn't subscribed to me. My what God. are we gonna do? Yeah. What a cool sequence though, because it's more than just some creators being like, hey, if you haven't subscribed, you should absolutely subscribe. Hit that bell icon if you want more notes. Right? It's not like that. It was a whole bit leading up with the whole firearms into the fake firearms thing. And oh, hey, this person's channel. Hey, this person isn't subscribed. You should. It was. It, it led into it so well. And I have such an appreciation for that. You better subscribe. <laughs> anyway, it was bedtime. And bedtime would bring us to one of this house's special surprises. Oh, no. The stack. The stack. <laughs> Day nine. So, why were we here in bumfuck nowhere Arizona in the first place? The answer Big may ditch. shock you. Big ditch. Grand Canyon. Yeah. So, one yeah. breakfast, shoot a BB gun, and get into the car later, we were on the road to the southern rim. This is where we discovered something truly unnerving. Oh. A roundabout. Oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Wait, oh, right. Because that, so roundabouts exist outside the US. However, they're done a little differently in other parts of the world where some of them have different tiers and stuff, have different like levels and stuff. And so it for them makes a little more sense because running into each other, I think is a little bit less of an issue. But in the US, we do our roundabouts kind of in a super inefficient way. Seriously, we hadn't seen a single roundabout the entire time we'd been in America. 
And I knew a couple of places where it would make a lot of sense. You know, like it would make a lot of sense. We arrived at the parking lot, found a squirrel. He took the joke seriously. <laughs> and walked over to the edge of the south rim. Pretty grand. Nah, Auburn's better. <laughs> Alright, we weren't just here to look at it, we were here to walk. Yeah. Yeah. So we started walking. <laughs> it's just a IRL Minecraft. <laughs> Imagining what's his face popping over from Fall New Vegas. Lord's work be done. <laughs> they do get hot down there. You gotta make sure you get a bunch of water. Nice. Going down was fairly easy and we reached the bottom in a little over two hours. Hooray! Oh, Hooray! Final Fantasy. And this is where I surprise the boys with a little treat. Instead of having to walk all the way back up, we were gonna... Hey, 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 hey where are you going? Hey, hey, get back here! There he goes, there goes our ride. <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and so, the ascent began. The ascent, no surprise, was much, much harder than the descent. This well, wasn't yeah. helped by our insistence of ascending as fast as we could. Well, and that's the thing. Going downhill, I mean, you're working with gravity. Going uphill, you're working against gravity. At its core, it is just going to be more difficult. It's going to be harder. That shit again, mate. So up we went. Can't hear you. Get your steps in. Get your steps in on an incline, so baby. <laughs> Tell me that is not fucking every colour you could imagine. Did I miss that? Normal day at the office. And yeah. an hour and 50 minutes later, yeah. Tristan and I had reached the top. Nice. <laughs> A bit further down, however, with Sydney and Harrison. Oh, no. Day 145, walking through the Grand Canyon. Oh. We are lost. Take a sip from his there little trusty no ball 13 sight. canteen. We are almost at the ridge. We are running low on water <laughs> and nut bars. <laughs> and the squirrels are starting to look tempting. Once all of us had collected at the top, we watched the last bit of sunset. <laughs> found this railway, took a few silly ones, and bought ourselves some yummy pizza. God, it looks so good, actually. I give the Grand Canyon. And S tier. Oh, fair enough. Back home, we watched some important items on the TV. Like, uh, nice. tweaker compilations. Yeah! Did you enjoy this? I love, I love pieces. And slowly <laughs> drifted to sleep. Nathan, while outside, took these very nice photos of a clear night sky. And Simon, of course, captured some dastardly ones while we were vulnerable. Amazing. And with that, back to the stack and sleep. Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> PCP just hits Day different. 10. We arose from the stack and discovered something incredible outside. Can you guess what it was? I bet you weren't thinking solar eclipse. I'm dead serious. We had literally not planned for this even a little bit, but as luck would have it, the Arizona shack was directly in the eclipse's path. Nice. So I looked up and <laughs> even though most of the sun was obscured, it still looked like the sun. But use uh, be very careful when you do that, actually. As someone that went to a, this last solar eclipse that was visible in Idaho, it was, God, I don't even remember when that was. It was a few years ago. Uh, you, you can actually damage your camera lens if you just point your, say, your phone camera or a camera that does not have a special lens or like lens cover attached to it. You can actually damage your camera if you do that. Just be careful. I'm sure there are photographers out there that will know exactly what to do and how to do it as a general baseline. If you don't know, Probably don't point your camera or your eyes at the sun. 
using some quick thinking and several pairs of sunglasses, we created this. Nice. The sun looks like the moon. <laughs> That's because well, they're, they're, they're both right there. <laughs> Look at this fool. Oh yeah, I can see it. We've got the well, quad can, layer, oh, right. sunlight protection. Covered, yeah, well, it's, it's getting warm. Ah! The eclipse was a partial solar eclipse, meaning the moon wouldn't be fully covering the sun. Nah. About 200 miles away, however, the sun looked like this. That's super weird. <laughs> Being under the eclipse <laughs> was strange. It's just of dark course, it never went completely dark, but it did get pretty cold. Oh, and not to mention, like... shadows. Well, isn't there an eight minute differential too? It takes sunlight eight minutes to actually reach the earth. So if say the sun went out, you wouldn't know for eight minutes. So technically the moon passing in front of the sun and uh, the sunlight being affected by that is actually on like an eight minute delay or something like that. Science. God, I love science. It was odd to think that there were probably thousands of people all around us, many of them having no idea this was happening above them right yeah. now. Yeah. Passenger train during the solar eclipse. Oh, Doesn't affect there. daily life, not really. Oh, that's super what cool. The fuck? I like that super cool. That is crazy. Oh, man. I think it's going away now. Then we shot the sun. Please don't. Wait, freeze. Stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> I give the eclipse an S tier. Yeah. Worth. <laughs> <laughs> Today we had absolutely nothing planned, so we spent the entire day shooting the BB guns. Literally all day. Nice. We started with about 3,000 BBs and ended with zero. This is why private property is so appealing to me. Like, just like, you, you know for a fact there's no one reasonably that should be, you know, hundreds of yards, hundreds of meters around you, right? And it's just like, well, I guess I'm just going to go with my private range. <laughs> That's why it's so appealing to me, honestly. I mean, like, obviously, you need to make sure certain safeguards and stuff are there. And, like, just her property is so expensive. <laughs> just owning land and, like, owning a house in general is so expensive. It's, like, almost unattainable. And I'm just like, ah, I'm sad. S tier. One day. One I day love BB guns. Yeah. Seamus got this They're nice cool. view of the sunset. We cooked some questionable looking lasagna for dinner. Sus. And that was that. Back to the stack, gents. Bed dog. <laughs> Tomorrow was going to be an early one because we were going to our final destination Las Vegas. And to the sound. Wait, wait a minute. Las Vegas. So no joke, people know that I play 14. I literally thought that was Ozma for a second. <laughs> it's that stupid dome thing. And to the South Point 400 NASCAR race. Next time. Oh, this is going to be a part two. Thanks Hell to World yeah. Defense for sponsoring this video. Use code COMBAT, get your walking around money, and uh, goodbye. I absolutely love this. I, I really did. This was a little bit of a longer video, and thus it took me a little bit of time to actually get around to it. Thank you, Martin Cedar Pants, for making an absolutely awesome video and kind of jogging my memory about a few places that I hadn't really thought about in a number of years. I absolutely loved this. I thought this was amazing. And, uh, you know, I could I feel like I could have added a lot more context, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't pausing every five seconds. I felt like I added a, enough. I felt like I added a bunch of context, a bunch of commentary. But uh, absolutely, you know, if I haven't, you know, Martin Cedar Pants, you are more than welcome to reach out. I am, you know, open door policy. If there's something that isn't transformative enough or if you don't want your content reacted to, I, I leave an open door policy for any creator that I react to to have those avenues to reach out to me and talk to. But no, this is awesome. This was amazing. And I'm glad that I sat down and took the time to react to this in the capacity that I did. This was absolutely amazing. If you have not checked out Martin Cedar Pants, definitely go ahead and check out Martin Cedar Pants. He's an awesome person. Awesome content creator, super personable, super funny, and I want to make sure the platform pushes him more. I can't wait for him to hit that 2 million, 3 million subscriber mark. But I digress. What are your thoughts? Do you know what I mean when I say San Bernadetto? Do you know what uh, some of these locations were? Do you have any stories about these experience, uh, experiences you've had at these places? Are you excited for part two? Uh, <laughs> do 
you have any insights that weren't gone over here? Did I miss something that you want to bring to my attention? Let me know in the comments section. As always, thank you for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one.